Thank you for clicking on this video today. Today we're going to be talking about raw data and then we'll also be talking about data that's been cleaned and how it should be set up. So this is an example of raw data. Raw means just like it would in everyday terms, it hasn't been processed in any way. Like raw meat hasn't been cooked. Raw material from the earth hasn't been processed. It's just what it is at that moment. So this is raw data. It's kind of gobbledygook. The lines are all kind of melded together. You can't see what any of the words mean. You can see some things like country and region, but you're not sure what that's referring to. So one of the main things that statisticians have to be wary of is making sure their data is very clean before they can actually analyze it. So this is an example of a data set that's been cleaned up. Now you can see that it's organized. You can see that that country is the header for a variable. You can see a column for region. You can see a happiness score. So this is clean data. Now, when you create your own data set, the goal is for you to always have the individuals represented in the rows. So here, these would be called individuals, or you could think of them as subjects, you could think of them as units, whatever it is that you're actually analyzing. Here, units might be appropriate because we're talking about different countries, but if you're talking about people, you might call them subjects. Those are interchangeable terms, but essentially the group that you're interested in is going to be represented in the rows. Then, in this table or data set, you can see that we have different columns. These columns here are what would be referred to as variables. Now in statistics, we call variables the piece of information that you're interested in. So here we have three variables that are being represented, each having their own column. And that piece of information here is gonna be what country it is, then it's going to be the region, and then it's gonna be the happiness score. So this is the appropriate way to set up a data set. You always have the individuals represented in the rows, and then the different variables are going to be represented in the columns. Then there's one more basic term that I want to make you aware of. Here, it's going to be what we call an observation. So an observation is going to be one row and their unique information. So if it's people that you're looking at, it would be that person and all of their unique information would be represented in that row. Here, because we're talking about countries, each of the country has their own row and everything represented in that row is going to be unique to that country. So our observation here was Australia, its region is Australia and New Zealand, and then it has a happiness score of 7.284. If we talked about Switzerland, that would be an observation. So it's a single row and that unique information. So Switzerland, Western Europe, and a happiness score of 7.587. So that's how you set up a data set. Those are some basic terms that we can talk about when we're describing a data set. Individuals is the group that you're interested in. Observation is a single row. And then the variables are going to be represented in the columns. Thank you for coming to look at this information on data and raw data, and I'll see you in the next video.